Uh, I'll add a little bit on the issue of Faraka. <coughs> I think if, if we take if the geological future exactly the way we take the geological past, it's almost inevitable in that, uh, that the, the Ganga will definitely outflank the, the Faraka Barrage location and directly flow into Bangladesh, uncontrolled. And that could be uh, over a geological, uh, which may be centuries, which may be number of centuries, but it is probably inevitable. Probably. We have to, as uh, Professor Rudra has mentioned, give a place to move around. Move around. We cannot expect we have to come back to a local, which is Faraka Baran, just because the engineers just that way. The river will flow according to law and nature and not nature and of engineering. engineering. So there is a tremendous possibility and which has been accepted in, in, has been in our documents of the government of West Bengal that uh, there is a risk of Faraka Baraj being outflanked. Flanked. In the event of the Faraka Baraj being outflanked, out, the original idea of I Calcutta port being revived Calcutta is not in question anymore. The, in, the port really is non-functional port. But water that was diverted from the mainstream of Ganga and fed back through a separate channel back is the lifeline of the downstream flow called the Girati Hogli. And that lifeline will be cut. That line, so Faraka Baraj is more needed for Calcutta port today but for multiple uses of water that uh, this separate channel uh, brings into the into the the distributory called Bhagirathi Hogli. Uh, talking about the question of uh, the whether are the non-Himalayan rivers better studied, I if number of indications are concerned and their indicators of the level of understanding good research publications you will always see that uh, publications are in the peninsulas of rivers and very very few very very few very sort of uh, non influential publications are made publications only more on policy more uh, without any quantitative justification on the himalayan rivers so uh, definitely uh, the availability free mean availability with a caveat with, uh, the state also behave like the central government when it comes to interstate conflict of, on water resources, they also do not give data very easily. But we have uh, access to those data. Actually, but uh, on the land rivers, you have lots of problems. Yeah. On the question of sediment research, yes, uh, I think this is where the uh, Himalayan monsoon Himalayan science, science has progressed. Has pro the sediment research has taken up, particularly in the last 10 to 15 years. There is a huge amount of there is a environmental consciousness among the engineering, particularly the elite institutions like IITs, like, and they have taken up the the issue of sediment. But we still do not have enough uh, such output to have a policy for management of sediment. Uh, the, the whole question of what is the source of the sediment, how sediments are transported, how they are deposited, that deposit is a big scientific research objective. Once object that base data is available, then we can think of uh, then redesigning of dams, whether to put the whether at the bottom for the free flow of the sediment flows things. Uh, as as far as I know, as till today there has not been any dam which has any dam the bottom level clearance of the sediment and, and outlet, uh, outlet for the water at the bottom. But I think it will come. If we have enough sediment research, enough sed this sort of redesigning of these dams is, uh, is bound to come.